Well, hello friends. Welcome to my new great big kitchen. Here is my table. Over there's my island. Behind there under that window is my sink. Over there's the stove, pot filler. Big fridge. And these are no longer garage doors. There's windows here, there's a different entrance, and this is now my kitchen. And this will, this will be a wall um, about 24 or so inches deep. There's not going to be these shelves here anymore. Um, you can see it's all open up there. That will be closed. We'll have attic access. That's one of the things they're going to do. I'm thinking, obviously, it's not going to be this deep, but we're going to have shelves and things here. So, sorry, I'm trying to tour you like as if we're walking and it's all done. And this is the vision. So, we measured. There's enough room for a 12-foot table here. Our current table is 9 foot. Over here... There's gonna be an island, and it's gonna be six foot wide, 12 feet long. What's exciting about that is we should be able to get at least six seats going down one side and three down the other. Just uh, <laughs> don't mind the anvil. That was my granddad's anvil tip. Um, and then on this side of the island, that is not here, ha ha. Um, we'll have cabinets and storage underneath. Okay, okay. Over here, where these toolboxes are, again, you got to dream with me, and of course, this is all big windows. Okay, so countertop going all the way down, right? See the that where that window is? Maybe this will be better if I tell you this way. So, there will be a wall from this side of that window down about to where that refrigerator is. Okay, it's gonna be the laundry room on the other side, but that means countertop is gonna start down here. Hello cabinet, countertop, and it's going to be countertop, 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 countertop here. And then from here, down, 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 down. And then I think, were we stopping about here? Ish. Cats keep knocking these, well, one cat has knocked some of these lights down. Travis always wants you all to know that. Anyway, somewhere in here we're stopping. So, kitchen to that wall, there will be a wall and countertop going that way, wall and countertop going that way. Then under this window, there's gonna be a great big farmhouse sink. And then right beside it, right about yonder, there's gonna be a dishwasher. And I'm thinking coffee bar area and such maybe over here. Um, and then middle, middle of this area, Big stove with a pot filler, cabinets along the top, and then I want to get, of course, great big refrigerator. So, yeah, can you see it? Can you see it with me? Nice kitchen area. And then over here, so if I'm looking at my wall, um, so laundry room will go from here. You know what? I told you wrong. I said laundry room would go on that side of the window. The laundry room, it's gonna be a long rectangle. It's gonna be on this side of the window. And the kitchen will be from here over. Okay. And then, this is my walk-in stroller. <laughs> um, so, somewhere in here, we're gonna have a door that swings out. So we will have an area where we have, no, no, I'm wrong again. The door is gonna swing in because behind the door, there will be a sub panel. And then, and I guess I'm not gonna need this air hose, right? And then in here, there's gonna be a utility sink. And then from here, down, 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 way down yonder is gonna be a countertop with laundry baskets and storage and beautiful things happening underneath. Also, one of the things our contractor's doing is all new windows and doors. Um, 
there's gonna be insulation and framing and things happening here, okay, okay. And then down here at this end, so we get laundry room stopping here, double washer and dryer. So we have our washer and dryer now, I think it's an LG, we've gotten two years out of it, we've had no issues, and I've heard and I've read the exact opposite, but whatever, it's still kicking, so I'm gonna get one just like it, and we'll have double washer and dryers, and then, okay, so then, this wall on this side. Well, here's what's gonna happen here, is, I'm oh, sorry, I'm back, back, back up the truck. Um, on this side, when you walk in, it's gonna be the old refrigerators and freezers. Utility sink, countertop, washer and dryer. Above the refrigerators and freezers, there will be shelving and more storage options. I'm sure I'm gonna do something else on the walls over here. Um, of course we have the window there, but maybe on the other side of the window, just in this long rectangle, as much space as we possibly can. Um, and then a door that closes. Yay. And we did measure our contractor and our contractor and Travis measured the, um, the depth of the refrigerators and the freezers and the countertop and the sink and how much room we'll have to walk up and down the middle and how much room we need for like the doors of the washers and dryers to open and it all works out. So it's all gonna be great, nothing's gonna go wrong, yay. And then here, oh so many things happening. Um, I was thinking, but I'm not, I'm not gonna know until, we, until I see this space cleared out. So I was thinking of some shelving here that's you know more up against the wall. I was thinking I may be able to have like a, a computer desk area here, and then even more pantry shelving. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. And that's why we're breaking it up into stages so that I have some room. So anyway, what I was saying was that's why we're breaking this up into stages, like a four, four stage kitchen, so that at each stage I can take a moment and really think about what I want. All right, so here's our uh, professional blue, blueprints, ha ha. But anyways, we got a uh, French door, windows, window, water is soaking through because I'm hiding in my bathroom doing this. Um, we've got shelves when we go in on the left. We've got uh, approximately a 12 by 40 inch table. Then behind it, we've got um, a six by 12 island with an overhang on this side and this side for seating, cabinets underneath, Here's the counter I was talking about all the way down and that window's in it. Oven, more counter here, oven, counter, refrigerator, um, more unclaimed wall space here. This is where I'm, I'm saying that once I see this, I'm thinking I could have a nice desk and maybe Opie, o Opie, yeah, Opie or open pantry shelving. So we've got five foot, so we've got five feet from the wall to what will be the wall of the laundry room. This is our door now that swings in. This is our other door that swings in. So the laundry room door will swing into the room that, that way. Sub panel behind it, so we've got freezers and refrigerators, a sink, countertop, and then the double washer and dryer area. And there we go. And then of course we've got the house. So the whole area is uh, 27 by 24. That is what we are working with and, and what we're working with and going to try to make it all work. Well, friends, welcome back to, I guess, what we're going to call the garage to kitchen conversion. You see, we are not full of tools back here. And uh, here, let me just, let me just tour you around a little bit. We got everything cleared out. I'm going to show you my refrigerators and freezers on the front porch like a real good hillbilly mama. We don't have anywhere else to put them right now because getting ready to rip things up. And here's some footage I got for you the other day real quick when we went to Lowe's and we looked at kitchens, we looked at countertops, we looked at tile. Let's watch that. So that day I brought home about six different cabinet books. I have been marking ideas 
I will get those for you and show you my ideas before I'm done. Lots of good inspiration there. So that's good, that's what I need. So Bob at Lowe's is working up our drawing now. He was supposed to have it to us today, but yesterday I sent him an email with all the updates. So now we're supposed to have it Friday. So thank you, Bob, for being flexible. Alrighty, so here we are in the daylight. Looks like just any old garage, huh? But completely, completely cleared out. Anyway, okay, it is uh, it is a clean slate to work with. We had big cabinets there that came with the house and Obviously, when we, we had them just paint the garage a fresh coat of white paint, they could not paint beyond there. Um, but here we are. There's a kitty. Hi, Callie. There's a chair to hold my things. <laughs> Here's a, there's the roof space above, and there's the dirty windows. I will get to one question real quick. Someone told me to consider what my windows are looking at as I'm doing dishes and when I have our windows set up and someone had suggested that I put my sink over here to see the kids play. But, sorry, there's, there's a sunset and a dirty window. Uh, property tour, we have a trash shed and a tool shed. We have the garden space, but this is not where the kids play. So it's actually perfect over here where the sink will now be, and I'll, I'll give you that update, because in the last video, the sink was gonna be down there, but the sink will be here now, and the whole, the major kid playland is up yonder. So that is super, and now let's look at where the uh, Hillbilly Mama refrigerators and freezers are. There we go, that's the buy one, get one free refrigerator, haha, <laughs> that's the refrigerator that came with this house. I have no other history on it other than we've used it for two years. It is held together with bungee cords, but it works. Also, cooling beverages outside. When I'm filming this, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so we got all that happening. Dead plants, so look, we will be able to come out and have a nice evening stroll in the garden and get in the refrigerator. So there's the, uh, the refrigerators, and here are the freezers in all their glory. Now. Since living here for two years, this roof has held up and this porch stays dry. So that's the plan. Travis has them all hooked up, rigged up appropriately in reference to breakers and such. I see some of his cords there. He knows what he's doing. So here they are. Now, part of the update is they're not gonna be here just for a little bit. I think they're gonna be here for many months because these will not be going in the kitchen at all. So there we go, we have updates. They're gonna be going in a totally different room we're gonna have done. So let me, uh, let's just get in here and jump right into it and uh, you can follow along. We have a big open room. What would that be like? I'm sure we will all still gravitate to one corner together, but let's try it out, okay? So that's what my thinking was in reference to the laundry room. I would have it out here. Okay, so like here, here's the utility sink, we're standing here. I would have it out here because in the meantime, um, cause like right now in real life, I've got laundry baskets lined up in front of the bay window in the family room. That's the cat knocking the tripod, hi Callie. Yeah, and before that they were in the foyer. So lots of things we love about this house. It's just, we process a lot of laundry because there are 11 of us and upgrade this washer and dryer is not in a closet in the bathroom and this little laundry room has a utility sink and a little mud room area so again this has been lovely for about two years and it's super i just know if i can let's do something a little different so i thought laundry room here i could at least we could process it we could have baskets the door could close and the baskets wouldn't have to sit in the living room and hey that is a life upgrade when you've been processing laundry in your living room, right? From there over, uh, kitchen counters, and of course, big island, big table, that was some of the thoughts. If I could have all my hopes and dreams, one of the things I have come to process that I would like with the space, I want the whole thing to be a kitchen. I don't even want to give the laundry room area that back six feet, six by 18 or whatever it was gonna be. I don't even, I, I think it was wider than that. We won't get hung up on those details, okay? I, uh, I don't even want that out here now. How do you like that apple? Let me now walk you around. 
what the new updates are. Okay, and as you see with this room, and we get great sunsets, but man, all the sunsets will be rocking it in this kitchen. Also, a uh, part of this journey to Jamerall getting an even bigger kitchen is I had shared with you in our original idea, we'd have a 12 foot table, but we believe now, at least that's how it works out on paper with, uh, what was it, four feet from when you come in this door? And lots of folks also were concerned. It, and when I say lots of folks, there's just many comments asking this question. So here's your answers, right? Um, if we have our entry doors here, there will be four feet from the doors to the table. And then we will have room for a 16 foot table. The way that we're planning to do that, you know, my white table, I bought it on Amazon, of course, two years ago, almost two years ago. Um, I think it was $650, so that was a steal. And that thing has held up beautifully. I figured when I ordered it, hey, worth a shot, it's done well. I don't know how many tables I've sold <laughs> for that company, but it's a great table. We've had absolutely no issues with it. What I was wanting to do is put two of those tables, just line them up, have an 18 foot table. However, mathematically, and to give us enough room for the big refrigerator that'll be down there, and for the entry doors here and have several feet in between, um, it's gonna need to be 16 feet. So Travis had an idea where we would basically, I mean, I'm not doing this. Okay, he's doing this and I've seen him pull all kinds of things together. So we believe you can do it. <laughs> so he is going to what, take a foot off the end of each table and butt those two ends together. And then you're talking about doing some, to screw, do some screws or something underneath. Now this entire 643 square feet is going to be nothing but mega mama kitchen land, okay? 16 foot table. The refrigerator is gonna be here, all measured out appropriately. Big refrigerator, counter space. Again, I'm not giving you exact measurements even though we're living in a world of exact measurements. Okay, I think the refrigerator comes to about here or so. This is counter space and the windows here. Okay, right here, this is the next update. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I, I worry y'all can't hear me, watch me run. Okay, down here. You know how I was questioning and wondering about getting uh, like a commercial stove and getting gas to it and stuff. So many of you said, Jay Morrell, have you considered just getting two nice ovens and putting them side by side? And I was like, oh, that doesn't feel like a pressure. I like that. I like things that don't feel like an extra pressure. So that's what we're doing now. So I'm, the, I'm getting two of it, well, two stoves, okay? And the stoves that I was looking at, you tell me your thoughts here. KitchenAid has them, um, Maytag, Whirlpool. So Whirlpool, I think, are the ones I was looking at. And so each stove has two ovens. So the top part folds down and it's one oven. You can have it at a different temperature. And then this other like standard oven door folds down. And then in there you can do two or three racks. So technically I'm thinking with two of these stoves, I actually get four ovens. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I also saw there's lots of ovens now that also are air fryers. I mean, you just do it all, right? So anyway, the KitchenAid ovens that have those double ovens in the front are the ones that I'm eyeballing because the Maytag or Whirlpool, whichever common brand there was, um, was talking about that some not being available in my area. So that's just kind of one of those details. It'll depend on closer time, what we pick up. Although Bob the Kitchen Guy did tell me that if I pick my appliances this week, because again, when I'm filming this, Black Friday week and everything going on, if I pick them this week, somehow he can lock in my prices for those on our kitchen plan. But I'm waiting here back because I got some questions about those. Is it everything or probably just specifics? So anyway, here, double stoves, okay? 60 inches, because they're 30 inches each. And then the biggest massive hood contraption that we can find. So I can't, oh, Callie, will you please quit this? I can't find the hoods like I like at, at Lowe's. I'm not finding them there. It looks like it's gonna be a special order thing. <laughs> this is Callie. Say hi. Hi, here, look up. Show them your beautiful green eyes. I know, you're just a purr box. You are. 
<laughs> she said, I don't know if you can, can you hear her? So the hood definitely looks like it's something that I will need to order. And the county is all up in our business about that hood, <laughs> aren't they? The fire marshal has to come and inspect this hood. It's okay. There will come a date on the calendar where that's inspection day and he's either gonna tell us something else to do for it or it's gonna be fine. Miracle of miracles though, the garage is cleaned out. That's amazing. And very first phase one of this building project with our contractor fellow is uh, he's coming to get started on that stuff on Monday. So that's gonna involve the new windows, taking the garage doors out, doing the new windows there, doing another window and then the other doors. And what else are we doing here? Floor joist, insulation, wall stuff, ceilings, pull down attic access. It's a lot going on in that first phase. I forget what the second phase is, but there's a list. And then by the third one, we're getting cabinets in here and doing, doing all those amazing things. To the question of how, how long will it take and when will I be in here? I was thinking I would be in here this winter. I'm, I'm hoping that I am, but again, some of the questions that we received, I thought, okay, if we have to wait, I don't know, three weeks and nothing can happen until the hood is inspected. As an example, it could just slow some things down. But that's okay, because we're gonna be, you know, if we don't start, we'll never get in here. So we're at least gonna start. Okay, so you now know, see the vision, double stoves, big hood. Over here is just gonna be some more countertop, way over in this corner. Alrighty, so the evening's just uh, going on by. We can tell by the windows now, but let me show you what, what is now gonna go down this wall. So here, come with me, come with me. So anyway, I was showing you this, this corner here. The stove hood carrying on is gonna be, however, I, you know, again, it's on, it's on the paper, how much this is gonna take up. Um, then there will be some countertop here and a corner, and there's gonna be a countertop here. And then, and so the only spot so far, this whole wall here, that again, will be commercial refrigerator, other side of that window, some countertop, big double stove hood configuration. There's not gonna be upper cabinets here. It's gonna be, there'll be lowers there, and uh, there'll probably be some kind of lowers here. This corner, this is where we should be able to have some upper cabinets, of course, lots of lowers, more countertop, sink dishwashers, then walk with me this way, uh, and then more countertop down here. So this side is gonna be open countertop somewhere in here. Uh, we are going to do the cabinetry, lots of the upper cabinetry here. We were, up until yesterday, talking about doing one of the inserts down here, just because there's not really a good place to put it before down here, with uh, the microwave insert and then another oven. So I would have a total of three ovens. But then when I got stove shopping and I saw that I can technically, if I'm understanding it correctly, get stoves that have two ovens each, and I'm like, well, if I, okay, if I have four doors to open, I don't need a fifth. So I was thinking, now that we have all this space, uh, the countertops might actually stop here. So we still have the L configuration, countertops stop here. And then, so this is like some extra space I was, was not expecting, but I have, the island is back over that way. We'll, we'll, we'll back up and talk about that. Um, but in this corner here, if the countertops stop here, and then Travis was wise enough to ask, where's the trash can gonna be? <laughs> but my friend Ashley Bufa, who I shared with you all in my last kitchen video, she has been my kitchen inspo. Um, her husband, I think she showed this in her video, and you can go find her video again, um, built, just built this trash can, just a really nice box. And they've got the big trash cans like we do too. So from middle of this window, so countertop has ended, we have some cash, tra trash can or cash can. Hey, that's even better, this is my favorite. Um, this area here and then this whole garage door area which we are getting like three big windows lined up there. This whole thing here is open. And again, not looking off my paper, I think this area, it was about 12 feet or so, um, meaning 
when we measured our couch, the blue couch now, um, but I might get a fresh couch for out here when we're doing fun decorating things. I could fit a lovely couch here. Wouldn't that fun? And I would like to get a grown-up mama chair, like a nice chair here that has a footstool, maybe a little lamp in that corner, little toy basket on the floor, uh, you know, probably some little bookshelf somewhere, whatever I want to put on the wall there. I mean, this is just, this is dream of all dreams, right? I want to do this back wall now with a lot of cabinetry and shelves. And then we will have the 16 foot long table here. Back over here this way, we still have room to do uh, the controversial, but we got, we got time to plan still. Um, the 12 by 6 island. Several folks input has been, it's all very helpful that, you know, like a, an eight by four would be big enough. Other folks have said, yes, Jim Morrell, you just do your island as big as you can. You will never regret having a huge island. So, you know me, Mega and Lots, I'm kind of think, I think I'm going for the bigger island. We're not even, we're not there yet, right? Island, table, sitting area, shelves and cabinetry, appliances, lots of room. Let me show you where we're gonna live our life out here, okay? So I'm gonna put you, you're gonna be here, right? And I'm gonna be, we're gonna have big old island here, right? And I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna be filming and let's just practice. So like I've got all this mega food and I've got bowls sitting out and I've got a tripod there and a tripod there and I got kids sitting way around the corner watching whatever it is I'm cooking up. We got the sunset in the background through the window. <laughs> you know, somewhere we're getting an island breeze. I would like to have that problem of having to figure out how to clean the middle of the island because I think I will just push things in that direction and use it. Or I could have a flower arrangement. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Gonna show you our updated, our updated picture. Let's, let's let me get real, real close on the camera now. You seeing all that? Okay, okay. So this is, it's actually a copy. This copy's going around here. Um, over here, this is, see the little couch Travis measured out for me? So we've got the couch measured out and the trash can. There's nine feet there on, on this wall after the, uh, trash can there. There'll be, there's nine feet, the trash can is included in that space, um, but just meaning there's space there if I also want to have a chair, let me see, down here. Um, and then we have room for a 40 by 88 couch there. Okay, four feet from the doors to the table, 16 foot long table. Uh, we got four feet from where I'm gonna have cabinets and shelving for the in between the table we got 36 inches in between the table and the uh, island with the overhang um, but again there can there will be seating that go, can go under this overhang and then 48 inches between the island and the sink and dishwasher area 48 inches between the um, island and the stove area oh oh and that's another thing I'm reminded of this drawing so Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Several of you said, Jim Morrell, why don't you do a prep area in your island? And I'm like, Jim Morrell, why don't you do a sink prep area in your island? So I am, I'm gonna do basically just uh, where we're gonna have the farmhouse sink under this window over yonder. I'm gonna have the exact same farmhouse sink at the end of this island because so much, so much real life fitting into this picture. What I have going on is homeschooling a lot of kids, doing a lot of filming and having a lot of equipment and business things going on, and just kitchen, pantry, food storage areas in general. So I'm thinking, again, with the right cabinets and shelving, I can do a lot of that over here. You know that right now for this year, I have my kids, each of them has a cart and they take their little school cart to the table and we unload from there and do their table work and pack it back up. I'm thinking that when we graduate to this room, basically I could just have a cabinet per kid, right? Every kiddo could have a cabinet, keep their school stuff in there, get what school stuff they need out, spread out at the table. Of course, we also have the island. We will be doing homeschool and all of life and filming and all the things in this room. Right now I'm thinking each kiddo could have a cabinet. I am not thinking about storing the carts 
over here as well. The carts just might then dissolve into kids' bedrooms and they can use them along with their desk um, or however they wanna organize all of that. I mean, Amelia had a huge banana box this afternoon with like all her ponies in it. So maybe it's gonna be pony storage for her. But that's my thinking homeschool-wise. I have never needed um, a big blackboard or whiteboard. I mean, of course, we know I use the smaller whiteboards, but yeah, just I don't need that. But we do need spaces to store binders and current books and such. So that was my thinking on homeschooling. Like work desk wise, I would love, um, you know, at my last house, we made the walk in, so I'm always trying, I made my walk in closet into my office for a while. It'd be so funny, like when I'm 70, looking back at all the different places I've had my desk. But anyway, so Travis and I were talking about, you know, not like a Murphy bed, okay. <laughs> Put everything on this wall, but I am sure that there are desks that I can get and maybe even with some of this cabinetry where I can close the doors on my desk uh, or it's like a fold out situation. Okay, so we will be picking that and making that work, but desk, homeschool storage, and then it would be overflow pantry storage. So this is the diamond now cabinets. This seems to be the cabinet tree that Lowe's has in stock that I can get, okay? So, and these are, these are the colors that I'm seeing. I like the wind tucket. I don't think I mind this white. And they do have lots of nice example kitchens in here. Here's the wind tucket in a kitchen. Yeah, so there's that. I think the wind tucket or the white are the only two I really like in here but they do have um, drawers and pull out options. Then let me get over here. There's some blues. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there's some more organizing options. Okay. I wanted to show you things that caught my eye that I liked, right? So I do, I do like uh, maybe not, I mean, not that I don't think that tile is amazing. I just wanna feel like I'm able to look at tile and make some choices, right? So that may be exactly what I choose. Um, but I like this look of uh, a subtle backsplash area and then a wild, some kind of wild tile. Love that big long island there. Well, and here's a kitchen with the big commercial stove. And of course, all the different organizing, organizing options. A lot of green, but again, like even when I went to Ikea, they had a lot of what I call forest green kitchens. I don't think, I, even though I love this color, I don't think I would, would do a whole kitchen in it. I would do maybe a hood and an island, you know, those colors and swap them out. Something, something, okay? In this book, I was marking this because I may do a wood look. I like this, I like that hood. I'm waiting to see what some of my options are because our contractor, installer, fellow, um, he works with them all the time, so he kind of like, I feel like knows the real deal what's there. But then I was hearing, oh no, we can order those as long as we know in advance. And so again, we'll see. We'll see. I marked this only because it caught my eye. You know, the white backsplash. Um, I like this wood. What was that wood called? Okay, now I can't see it. If I wasn't talking to the camera, I would see it. But I just, I like this wood and I even like that backsplash. Of course, uh, mega organizing ideas. So many fun things there. So yeah, I like, you know, I like that, this particular blue. Um, here was the, the farmhouse sink. That's not white. That's Travis backing our van up. Oh yeah, more, more storage. I do like this lighter blue, and that was called Surfside. I like these grays. Here's the one I really like if I was really walking on the wild side. Hi there. This is called um, Harbor, the Harbor Cabinets. Hans has been crying for him. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very bold blue choice. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it though. <laughs> um, but that is called Harbor. And then that wood is called Husk. I like, I like all of this going on here. And I like this green. I haven't worked with this green in my head or my heart for a while, but I do like greens as well. That's called Serenity. So it's nice to see, like I don't know yet, um, cabinet finishes and what I want on the doors and stuff. But as, anyway, 
And then I have another one, Allen and Roth cabinetry. So anyway, so I got a whole bunch of kids here, whole bunch of noise going on. Oh boy, friends, we're here. Future kitchen, no longer garage. Looks like a garage. What's been happening? So today I'm gonna update you on how the garage to kitchen conversion project is going. So when I am filming this, now my watch died on me. Got no, no, uh, no time. What is it? It is January 5th. It is three o'clock. <laughs> Travis is showing me figures. Okay. So it is January 5th. And as you know, in my last video, we had just started the process of putting in all the papers and the drawings and the specifications and all that was needed with the county. Travis turned that all in. He went to a meeting. He checked his email. He waited patiently. I think we did all that around Thanksgiving, didn't we? Okay. And so all that was turned in around Thanksgiving and it was the week before Christmas we got the permit. Okay, week before Christmas. So I think we waited about three or four weeks. Yes, okay, he's, he's nodding, he's agreeing. Any, yes, 15 business days. Okay, so right at the end of the allotted time that they had to make their decision, we got the permit. So that felt like, because at some points during that, I was thinking, maybe we're not gonna get a permit. Maybe they're not gonna let us do this. So anyway, we got it, yay. And then of course it was Christmas time and our main contractor who's doing uh, the bulk of the work for us obviously has other jobs and other projects and other things going on. So the day we got the permit, he could not just drop everything he was doing and show up over here and jump in. So he's been finishing up some projects on his end. Meanwhile, we've been doing what we can get done on our part uh, to get this ball rolling. Update one, check, <laughs> got the permit. Update two, you see our door over there. Okay, so one of the things that is going to be happening in this garage is the floor is being made level with the rest of the house. So we will be walking in here. We are making this floor level with the rest of the house. Also, Travis wants me to tell you that this floor slopes and it goes out this way. So lots of reasons to build it up a few inches. Um, it will be level with our laundry room door there, which, which is, uh, let me point right at my camera. Okay, there's a door there leading into the house. So anyway, that meant this back door had to be raised. And with the cinder blocks and the brick, we needed to get a stone mason out here. So that is the second thing we got done. We've gone to church with a stone mason for quite a long time. And so I was like, hey, can you come on over here and take a look at my garage door? And he did. So they came out, they spent a couple hours one day. They uh, took the frame out of the door and they took some cinder blocks and did new support and such up there. Now once the floor is done and we are ready to install that new door, he's gonna come out and do other stonemason type things. He's also, we have like a little stoop back there that's two steps made of brick. He will be maybe adding another step or doing whatever needs to be done so everything lines up correctly. Again, I don't have to do it, but things are getting done yet. Another thing that has been accomplished, third thing check is I signed and paid with uh, our plumbing contractor. They are going to be coming out and doing the plumbing for two sinks, two garbage disposals, the pot filler, two dishwashers, and that will all be happening under this floor. But again, it's another tradesman thing. I don't have to know or understand. Travis has an understanding and they certainly know what they're doing. But that's uh, all set up and in the work. So phase one, our main contractor fellow is gonna come out. He will be doing new windows, insulation, the floor, all the county required insulation on the floor. He's doing the new doors here, the new door for back there. So we certainly put out a lot of calls and emails to local electrical contractors and there just weren't any that really got back to us. So we can't wait around for that. So Travis knows what he's doing. So he bought, let's see, he bought a sub panel for the guy, the husband's listening who know, who know the deal. What else did you get? Well, wire and conduit. Wire and conduit. Some receptacles. Lights. Lights. Well, I 
I was kind of more on the light end of things. Yes, we're gonna talk about that, but on your end, copper things. Okay, so, and we're gonna have a, a separate panel out here that's gonna come off the main panel and, and it's all gonna like it. And so the county will be part of that, inspecting that. Did they already look at your, your thoughts for that? Yeah, okay, so that's that. So Travis is general contractor plus electrician contractor, yay. What else? Yes, yeah, so I bought the lights that are going over the table. Um, I bought the lights that are going over the island. We got some lights that are going like in different walkway areas. Uh, very pretty lights, okay. Oh yeah, and that is another thing. Uh, we had these doors, these garage doors I'm standing in. The stonemason uh, helper wanted these doors for his garage, so he took them and demoed all that. So that's one less thing our contractor man has to do. More boxes have appeared. I got off track with what I was saying because UPS is bringing stuff. So that gets me back to, we have ordered things because you know when you order things, you just don't know how long some things are gonna take. Okay, so this is gonna be the new back door. This is some of Travis's, uh, this that conduit, can I call it pipe? Yeah. Underground, sunlight, <laughs> resistant, max. Okay, anyway, reading things. Anyway, this is gonna be the French door on the back of the kitchen there. Of course, it'll all be painted. Alrighty, so garbage disposals, yay. Upside down light. So picture that light flipped over. You're gonna put on your good imag imagination caps, right? So you're gonna have a long 16 foot table and we're gonna have this light down at one end. We're gonna have this light as our big centerpiece light over the table. And then the second light, only not upside down, just like this uh, towards the other end. Travis will mathematically line those up and put the proper amount of space in between them and make them look beautiful. But basically, instead of getting like one long light piece that was already put together, I got two of those for over the island. So I was just trying to do something different over our eating area. And this is what I done did. Okay, and so then these lights, it's a flush mount light. Obviously I'm going with like a white farmhouse style theme because uh, I've watched so many Joanna Gaines episodes. I don't know what else to be other than try to be Joanna Gaines when I grow up. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so anyway, I got three of these. So these are going to be like one will be near the stove area. One's going to be in a little sitting area corner that I want to have. Um, I can probably show you on one of Travis's drawings. We got three of these and these will be around on the ceiling in a few different places. This is my new light that's gonna go outside uh, the French doors on the front of the house. I have a bigger one of these. Um, so this one's a little smaller and kind of all goes together. Okay, and so uh, more imagination time. I got two of these and these will be over the middle of the island. So we've got um, wires, we've got is this for the uh, stoves or dishwasher? Yeah, plugs. We've got some uh, lo uh, door handle sets, new panel, and then just bags and bags of floodlights, uh, but all the electrical stuff that Travis is getting ready. I'm gonna, gonna take you over now and show you some of the drawings and pictures that I have. Some of them I don't have printed out to show you, but anyway, let's walk over and I'll show you pictures. And again, these do not print out the best. Um, and of course, the floor that I got is a hardwood looking floor, the same one I did in my downstairs third bathroom. Pretty much the same floor is gonna be up here. Um, so don't look at this tile floor. So there we have the refrigerator and we have cabinets and drawers and some upper cabinets. Uh, for the stoves, I went with two KitchenAid stoves. Now, big update, I did not go with the stoves that looked like there were two doors that opened on each stove because a lot of feedback I got is those, those uh, cooking oven compartments are actually a lot smaller. I couldn't actually put a turkey or anything in there. So I just went with two KitchenAid decent looking stoves. I think they have five burners each, uh, so that'll be 10 burners and two bottom stoves. This is uh, a sample hood they put in, but that is not the hood that I got. It's a bell shaped, it's white and uh, it's massive. 
and it's a coming. <laughs> so uh, then you can see, of course, this does not show the countertop. Come along the corner here, We've got our uppers. Um, right here, our contractor is going to build in for, we have a nice big microwave already, so it shall be there, but up off the counter. We've got the sink area, both dishwashers, um, thinking coffee bar area there, and then with the island, let me look at my pictures here. Yeah, I didn't this is one of the print offs I don't have is the other side of the island. Um, this side of the island and here is going to be an overhang for seating. All the drawers are on the other side and there's another farmhouse style uh, sink here. So there'll be a sink here, sink here. The island is a 6 by 12 and then this is not showing the whole room. Okay, it comes down to about here eyeballing it. So we'll have our very long table here. And then I'll show you, I do have a drawing for this wall, what we're doing. And that, that wall is this wall here in front of us. Let me show you the picture. Also, some creativity on the part of this picture. Um, these cabinets, there's going to be some configuring that happens, okay? Um, there will have to be a, I believe it's called a toe kick added in down here and then uh, based on the kind of cabinets that we're using. And then these stick out, they won't be, they'll be modified and they'll be um, set the same, they'll be set the same distance as these other cabinets. <clears throat> and of course they're showed with gold handles, if you can even tell, and we're not using those. But this is going to be uh, right in here in the middle, a desk area, So and then long table here. But yeah, so whole, whole wall of cabinets. So I'm thinking again that it's going to be filming and work cabinets, and then homeschool cabinets, and maybe, I mean, it might be one section of like pantry overflow cabinets. We shall see. It was the Lowe's Diamond Now Arcadia cabinets. Here's just, if I Google and I'll show you some of the images, this is what some of the kitchens look like with them. So, yep, they're just, they're white cabinets. Like I said, they were mostly in stock. He does have a list of ones he's got to run around and find for our plans here. So many folks referred me to having custom cabinets done. I did have a custom cabinet builder come out. The reality is uh, many of those are my whole budget for this whole kitchen renovation. So I could have really nice custom cabinets and nothing else. <laughs> so I went with the Lowe's in stock Diamond Now brand cabinets. The Diamond Now cabinets allowed me to get all the beautiful cabinets I wanted to a third or even a quarter of the price depending on what cabinets we are discussing. So I saved a lot of money on cabinets I did buy a real expensive hood though. So there's the little, uh, the balance of it all. But saving in the cabinets gave me more money in the budget to do the hood. Okay, and this is the hood that I have ordered. It says it's a bell style with strapping. It's white. It's a 60 by 48. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what is coming for this kit. Okay, and so that is what the new refrigerator looks like. I went with two Bosch dishwashers. Let's see if we can break those. But they were the very best Bosch dishwashers Lowe's had available. This is what the KitchenAid stoves look like. This is what both of the sinks look like. And I think that's pretty close to the faucets that I got. I got two. So now we can talk about tile. Okay. Uh, so what I'm showing you here is I've got examples and some samples of different tiles. Four, over here, we're gonna have the two stoves and the big hood. I have uh, a herringbone tile that's white that I'm thinking will be for the backsplash, but for behind the stoves and then up behind the hood for the area that shows, I wanted a real dramatic tile. I think I want a dramatic tile, but I just haven't found the right tile yet that um, that is making my heart. These are our uh, garage to kitchen updates thus far. Really think the ball is going to get moving here now that we have permits in hand. So there you go friends. These are my updates of what we've been doing. Got the permits. Yay. Put in a lot of orders for a lot of stuff that's coming. But yet the refrigerator already came and is going to hang out at Lowe's. Okay, cool. What else? <laughs> all of it. Watch it again. You'll see all the things. All the things that have been happening. Stonemason came. I guess colors and things. A lot of it has been decided. 
except the tile going up behind the stove. I really want something catchy. And I do like, would it be German looking tiles? Uh, I love, yes, the Germany there at Busch Gardens, uh-huh. So I do, now that I'm here seeing the tile I just showed you that had that mustardy yellow, I'm thinking, oh, that would look very nice and catchy. I know part of the rationale is to not uh, date things. But then again, I'm not doing anything too trendy right now because people are already over white kitchens. So I like what I have planned out so far, but I will also definitely take some more thoughts. And maybe there's even places I should look online for tile. I didn't, haven't even Google and I have not discussed this yet. So anyway, that's my big question mark right now is what tile is gonna go behind the stove. I'm, I'm pretty settled on what I have for the backsplash too. And all the stained glass windows that I have coming are a mix of all the colors. Like how I like it. Well friends, this is not how I wanted to come to you with this garage update. I think it's gonna be okay. Tell me that it'll be okay. Long story short, or as Kimberly on the Wad says, short story long. Um, last week, I was in Utah doing my little work thing got a message from our builder man that he was not going to be able to do our job and that was really disappointing um not his fault he had actually tried maybe two weeks before he was just offering like i don't know if i'm going to be able to do this i have this list of things here you know the, these five things here that are falling apart and so we were really encouraging with him we just said you know what you do have a lot going on. You know, there was some sickness and some vehicle breaks, breaking down and some helpers that it was hard to keep and just different things. And so we said, you know what, we're here. We really don't have a time pressure. I mean, the plumbing folks are waiting and they can continue to wait. And the gas line folks that are gonna do the stove, I mean, whenever we're ready, they're, they're, they will be there. And even Travis with doing the electrical, I mean, I mean, we're making this up as we go. So we just told him, no problem, friend. If you need extra time, you get all your other stuff straight. And then when you're ready, let's, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, so then last week I heard back from him and he had just made the decision. He was like, look, I tried and it's just, things are not coming together. And I would like to just go ahead and step out of this. And he gave us our money back and we agreed and yada, 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 you know, all the, the technical details involved. But the sad thing is like, you know, it's really hard. <laughs> it, was, it was hard to find him in the first place. He's the same gentleman who did a wonderful job on our third bathroom this summer. Just other companies I had talked to about this garage could not start until like end of the summer or next fall. The big building companies in our area have a ton of work and they just don't have no time for us right now. And then, so what happened to this particular builder that we have worked with is his biggest problem right now, he says, is he can't keep his helpers. And so he might have helped two days a week, he might not. He's had some other jobs he's gotten tangled up on with help, helpers not being consistent. And he's concerned about taking on a big job, big project like this, and then just everything falling apart. So again, like, that's okay, but I just wanted to share with you, when I got that last week, I was like, hmm, that is a bummer. <laughs> bummer because I've bought all the kitchen stuff and I have to have someone put it all together. Part of my thought process last week was also like, man, if we can't find anybody, I'm gonna have to start like sending stuff back. <laughs> really because I don't want stuff to sit for six months or I mean who knows how long and basically have paid for a new kitchen without the kitchen and I was sad because I feel like I'm in this kitchen already like I'm I'm, I'm living in it as I see it in my head and so I'd like the kitchen to be here if possible so new builder man is starting tomorrow and they think that phase one, which is gonna be uh, the vapor barrier on the floor and the floor joist, and what else is it? The replacement windows, framing out what's here in front of me that you can't see where the garage doors were, getting those windows in, uh, that French door set, getting our back door straight, 
and I think there's some other things that I'm not listing. Basically getting it all ready for then right after he's done, the plumbers will come and they will do their plumbing things. And then uh, Travis will, is continuing to work through electrical things. And they'll be ready to roll into phase two. And since he's gonna start working in here and once the floor joists are in, we will be using our back French doors. We won't be coming in and out of here. We'll be able to store things in here like right now. With the snows, I've got some kids clothes over there and some random boots. These odds and ends will have to fully be out of here. Also a few days ago, we rented one of those pods storage units. It's here looking at me. I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, and some of the things that we've had delivered, like the windows and the doors are in there. Um, also, who knew? So I ordered my 60 inch custom hood that I wanted, big beautiful thing, and it came already. So it's in there. So anyway, I've been surprised and thankful for the items that have been coming. And I think now we'll be back on track and get this ball a rolling so I can show you some update videos with some more happening. But right now, let me show you what's happening in this pod unit. Okay, and I actually haven't looked in here. Let's see if I can get it open since the other day. That is our new nine foot table that's gonna go with our other nine foot table and do some chopping, do some math, and it'll be a 16 foot table. We have the back door, the front doors, this big thing, that big box is my hood. Let's see how tall I am. Well, it's on a pallet, but it's big and long. <laughs> um, and then we have, what else is in here? The windows. So we're just getting started. I figure that once he gets started with this, Lowe's has told me that they will work with me and we can keep many of the things there. I've heard from some of you that I have to watch out with that because some people have had experiences of their stuff getting accidentally sold. Uh, so we wouldn't want that either. So I, I did go back and I returned, uh, returned on paper those two electric stoves. I still need to call and pay for the last little bit of the cabinets that they sourced and also officially order that blue stove. I still haven't done that because I was gone and we got the news and we've been dealing dealing with stuff, but I'm still committed to that gas stove. Uh, and I think I did this in the last video. I called the gas line company, getting all that worked out, except right now we have a gas tank by our back porch and Travis would like for them to move it just up to the back corner of the garage and then they don't have to run the line as long or any of that. So anyway, this is their biggest pod. It's, um, I believe an eight by 16. Also what's nice with them is you can add on insurance. So if I have, you know, all my cabinets in here at some point, or if we then have, you know, all the, whatever we have in here, this thing is supposed to take care of it. And if there's any issues, we have the value insurance on it, which makes me feel better about it. Okay, so let me, let me walk you around in here. Okay, so here we go. This, yes. See how big that, it's like a refrigerator box that <laughs> that hood is in. Oh, and then our chairs. Sorry, walking through the darkness. Our chairs that came, more of those metal chairs I have with our table now. I ordered eight more. So we will have a whole lot, a lot of chairs. I think that's just a doorknob set. There's some of the packaging <laughs> from the table. Anyway, there's our windows. And yes, they are white and our house is brown, I know. But my uh, overall vision is we'll be getting the house, like even the brick painted. I have a whole Joanna Gaines wannabe thing I wanna do with the outside of the house. And I figure that's fine because if we tried to order brown or any specialty colors, it's an order and it's a wait. And I don't know, with our luck stuff coming in, maybe it would have been in already, but it just got me in the mindset of that's okay. We will go with white. Of course, I can paint a lot of this, but even as far as the windows, then um, we're gonna do a whole big outside renovation as well. And uh, yeah, so anyway, and even so the back door has the little uh, fake dividers. The front one does not because that was also an ordered item and we could leave with these that day and that is fine, lots of light. So this is how our little pod unit is working out. All right, so now it is getting a little cold standing in the snow. Thanks for listening to this update where 
things fell apart, but it all came back together. Go team, go. Tomorrow is gonna start the kitchen project officially, and I will start a whole new video for you all to follow along with that. I made the big stove purchase, so I'm gonna show you it's not the blue stove, but I'm really happy with the stove that it is. While we were in Florida, our new builder was able to do pretty much all of phase one. Uh, there's a few small things the plumbers have to come back and do, but right now we're to the, we can't do anything else until our inspections tomorrow. Only way I think I can do this for you is to vlog it. So I'm gonna take my camera, take you around, and, and talking hand will show us things. Okay, so you see I'm walking on these floors, and this is one of the things I had shared. We wanted to make the floor out here in the kitchen level with the floor for the rest of the house. We are going to, a lot of this trim will be taken off. It's gonna be a different door, like another all glass door, and the floors will match. We will also, in future renovation stages, there's gonna be new floors in the house, and basically we're making the whole house a brand new house, just one step at a time. And we're starting getting a, a, a functional Mega Mama kitchen. So here you will see we have our new door going to the back of the property, insulation around the top, and our stonemason needs to come out to do some things, I believe on the outside. And we don't have like the knob set in yet, but it's there, it's a door. And the other thing is a vapor barrier under the floor joist and then there's going to be insulation, uh, but we're not that far yet. Well, it's framed around the outside again. Look at my floor joists, but those were those were a huge thing to get done. And then the other thing the builder got done, ooh, let's not fall over things, Jamerel, uh, before I talk to you about electrical and plumbing. Because again, I was trying to think, you know, in this design that I made up in my head, what could I put where garage doors were? And I'm like, well, it just makes sense to have windows. And so my vision is to have a very nice couch here because I like couches, they're cozy. And we're gonna have a mama chair and a stool and some kind of lamp. And it's just gonna be a really nice cozy area. Also over here, there's our other window. Now this is not the, what is it called? Hmm the special kind of glass that by our code has to be, if you have a window by a door, it has to be this kind of window. I can't pull it up. I know I said it in other, is it, oh, tempered. Tempered, yay, <laughs> a quiz in my head. This window is just a placeholder. That window has been ordered. We're supposed to have it in April and it's required. So there we go for the meantime. Then we have these doors. Now, if I wanted the doors with the little crisscross applesauce window panes there. Those, it's so silly, those have to be special ordered right now. Um, but these were there and we could order it, buy it that day, have it delivered the next day, and that's what we had done. Alrighty, and then, hey, some random mud boots. We have uh, weather report 60 some degrees today. So I'll show you how things are looking outside. Okay, so here are how things are looking. That trash can will no longer live there once this is done. It is only there because we're used to having it there and this was a garage, but I'm really happy with how it's looking on the outside. It no longer looks like a garage to me anymore. It's really starting to pull together. We're gonna have a porch that's level with that step going all the way across as well. So like big flower pots and such, uh, but that's how it's looking and I'm pretty excited about it. So then the other thing that the new builder did is these windows around here are brand new. Um, and those windows also, another exciting thing. So of course, on these walls, there's gonna be, I think it's the furrowing strips, there's gonna be insulation, there's gonna be electrical. Uh, the plumbing, you see, that's the only plumbing that's uh, mostly going through the floor. Also, yes, I'm getting a pot filler, that's what that is, yay. But anyway, when these windows are done, they're gonna be built out several inches. So glory of glory, um, a delight of my heart. <laughs> these windows are going to have very deep window sills. And I'm so excited because this is a good uh, sunshine part of the house. We should be able to have great light for plants there. Again, super excited about that. 
And then this is gonna be my kitchen sink window. And I'll be looking directly out. I mean, it's a mess right now and kids are playing in the wind, but we've got a massive play yard and our pool and all our bike storage and then a hay field and all of that is just gonna be right out my window here. Okay, so then uh, the next thing, I'm jumping over to the pot filler. So it was a big decision yesterday. He came in, he wanted to see like my biggest pot and he was trying to see from the top of the stove how many inches high should the pot filler be. And of course I'm down on the floor now. So I've got to stand up some more inches. Anyway, I believe this is gonna be 24 inches from the top of my stove which was still several inches taller above my biggest pot. Okay, so the plumbing goes all the way, it goes into the basement over there. And right here, this is gonna be the sink on the island and the garbage disposal. So yay for that. Also, Travis is working with all the wires and all like where the outlets will be on the island and uh, you all have asked me some great thoughts about where I'm plugging things in, and we're we're really thinking hard on that, so that's great. Uh, there's the water that goes to the pot filler, and then over here, this is where the big sink will be, yay. Okay, so where I see myself um, using the small appliances, and again, I don't mind using my countertops. I don't know what else to use them for. Like to me, countertops are a workspace just as well as an island. I've never had an island, uh, but I have certainly used small space countertops, and even at the forest house, I had a lot of space on the countertops, and I would just line them up. Um, so my goal is not clear countertops because I want to actually be able to use it. So right here, um, and back to the electrical, so the refrigerator, I'm pretty sure if I'm re remembering right, is gonna be on its own circuit. Travis is doing a sub panel just for this kitchen. So there's gonna be no problem in powering all the things that need to be powered. But it's a big commercial refrigerator, it's gonna be there, it's gonna end before the window. And so basically, this space of the window, which is a couple feet, is gonna be available. And then on the other side of the stove, that whole corner coming up to this window is gonna be available. So this is really these two areas. Now I'm also gonna have countertop from the other side of this window all the way down. And I think we did it last time, it was like 21 some feet. So there's gonna be a lot of countertop, but I'm planning like right here under this window, I could have two bread machines going. Right here in this corner, I could have two or three slow cookers going or my pressure cookers. And I'll also have this area up here to have stuff. We're gonna have the coffee maker that I use every day and then the electric tea kettle that the kids use every day for either hot chocolate or tea in various forms right there. And then, da da da, next plan, okay. So you see here in our first pictures, this is when the garage was full of Travis's stuff, more like for a storage facility. Uh, as he said, again, not big enough to be his hopes and dreams garage. And we did not buy this house with the idea that uh, this garage was where, was his working garage right up on the house like that. So anywho, and you can watch my other videos I share in the first one and the second one, probably the third and fourth one, why we decided to jump in and do this kitchen now. So you can go through the garage to kitchen conversion playlist and listen to all of those tales. Then we went ahead and we got everything everything out of the garage and we got the freezers and the refrigerators on the front porch uh, and within all that we were learning that hey it's great to get everything cleared out and ready but now we play the waiting game for the permits and then we got all the permits and now all those I's dotted and all those T's crossed and then we were making our plans with our builder and we also wanted to go ahead and start ordering a lot of the things that we would need because we know the state of the world and with ordering things right now and just how you know, some, some things you order in June and you get the next January and just not sure. So we went ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff and also brought home several things like our new lights and uh, then things started coming like our custom hood I thought might take months. We already got that, that's in our storage pod. 
Um, the cabinets are being held at Lowe's. Many of the appliances have come in and they are holding those for us as well. Um, with the weather, I'm kind of taking a gamble on still not having all of those things delivered yet as long as I can hold off because uh, I just don't want them to get damaged in the pod either. It is warming up, so we'll see if that's gonna happen here in the coming days. And then you can see as they started to do the, um, the floor joist and get those going, and then they framed out for the front door and then the windows, and then they got those added. And now we have the plumbing uh, mostly done here and things are moving along. So I kind of feel like we're a, we're a slow moving train, but we are having forward movement right now, which is super exciting. The plan has been, which is good to like <laughs> talk about these plans as we go, right? The plan has been that the countertop would stop at this window, okay? If I'm doing a home freeze dryer, Where's it gonna go? This is a big honking machine. And you guys can certainly let me know if you have any different thoughts. The requirements are though, it has to be within this room, okay? <laughs> My thought is, well, what if we just extended the countertop like halfway between that window or even to the end and we put the freeze dryer there? Yes, it's gonna block part of that window, but welcome to the jungle freeze dryer. This is the space I have for you. There you go, that's my thought. Um, it would require probably purchasing two more cabinet sets and bring the countertop on down a little bit. And I'm just thinking, well, instead of having the countertop halfway, let's just do it to the end of the window because that way, you know, I'm gonna be stacking trays and doing things. Other side here, like I said, I'm planning coffee pot, tea kettle, which those could be moved around. I mean, but again, we're like making electrical plug decisions. And then somewhere up here, our microwave is going to be. This is, again, this is a total like JMRL. This is a, an, an additional thing. But again, I wouldn't, I'm glad to think of it now <laughs> and not get all done and then be like, okay, great, where do I put this huge freeze dryer? Now, some people like Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead, I have seen she has her freeze dryer on a cart and she has moved some things around to make more room for it. Um, she, actually, I was reading the other day, or I heard her say one of these things, they got rid of a freezer to make room for the freeze dryer. Anyway, and I could put it in a different place in the house, but I'm trying to make, you know, make it in here where I'm doing things. I'm thinking that might be something that we do. Um, again, we're not to the cabinet stage yet, so I can certainly add on. And if we do it to the end of the window, again, Travis, where's your measuring tape? Um, might even end up being three more cabinet sections there. Priorities, I'd still have room for my chair here. I'd still have room for a couch. So there you go. So Travis and his planning is already planning that right here, there's going to be an outlet that is a 20 amp circuit and it's on its own and it is just for that freeze dryer. So then the island is going to have, I believe it is four electrical boxes, mainly on the working side of the island. I can't get it straight in my head to do outlets in the middle of the island. It just bothers me in my head, so there's just the honest truth. I don't want a bar popping up with outlets. I don't want outlet boxes where things can spill, um, but over here, I'm walking on the bare floor here. Oh, my phone's ringing, stop phone. So right here, if I'm standing here, this is gonna be like the working side of the island. Right here in front of me, we will have outlets facing us. Okay, so we're gonna interview Mr. Travis. So, tell us about this electrical. <clears throat> what do you wanna know? What, what I wanna know? I don't know, they've had questions. If I have two pressure cookers and three slow cookers and two bread machines going, in the area that I told you I would probably use the countertop for, Am I gonna flip something? You should never have an instance where you plug in enough stuff to put the breaker. And why is that? Because you, this whole thing is all receptacles. The, all 20 amp circuits. All 20 amp circuits. Yeah. So if you're asking electrical questions and you know these things, that might mean something to you. And there's a lot of them. And there's a lot of them. If under that window and in that corner, those are the areas I'm eyeballing to like have all those things going. I can have all those going at one time. I think there's only three receptacles on the 120 amp circuit and okay. two on the other. Okay. And then there's 
It's going to be six here for the iron. Okay. That are on separate, three different circuits. Three different circuits, okay. Another dedicated circuit for the for uh, these windows here. Yeah. So and then eight. one for the freeze dryer that I may or may not. One for the freeze dryer, one dedicated for the microwave. Okay. Uh, and what does the stove take? So the oven that I went with, stove, oven, whatever we want to call it, the burners up top are gas, yeah. but the oven is electric. It's a standard 50 amp circuit for the oven. So the oven just needs a standard 50 amp circuit. Okay. It gets number six wire. Okay, we need some number six wire. Okay, and then the refrigerator, is that on its own? It's on its own 20 amp circuit. Okay, so I got that All right. All by its lonesome. All by its lonesome. And then we're gonna have some outlets over here around my couch area. And behind you, all the windows are uh -huh. going to be a couple. Going to be a couple. And then, and then around our desk area, there's going to be some. Yeah, and they're on their own circuit. And they're on their own circuit. Okay, anything else that people would like to know? What about the lights in the ceiling? What are those off of? They're going to be on their own 20 amp circuit, too. Okay. The flies are out. Happy spring. Basically, the whole, the whole 20 amp box is mm -hmm. going to be filled with receptacles. Only, I think only two of them are for lights. All right, so hopefully that helps. What about the dishwashers? Did we talk about that? I they're know they're on, the they're on their each. own. So, so we should have, if we the could do the, the Tim the Toolman noise, we should have more power in this kitchen so I'm not flipping breakers. Yeah, it yeah. be like a receptacle every two feet or something like okay. that. Okay, okay, this is good. So we're already talking about if I do the, um, the freeze dryer thing, Again, like where's the trash can go, Jay Morrell? I don't know. Travis said, well, maybe we need to build on. So we're going to measure again the refrigerator. I think there will be room for the trash can between this back door and the refrigerator, and that would be a lot. Sorry, spring flies. That would be the logical space to put it, but let's confirm that. Oh, and the other thing they did. So we had a hose bib here, just like a, outside a faucet that water could pour through. So they deleted that. That is no longer there. This is gonna be a wall of cabinets and also a built-in desk area. Okay, we're gonna get a Mr. Travis tour. The panel's gonna go here. This one's getting deleted. Okay. So we got some stuff running on the floor for the oven. Okay. Uh, I need to put a receptacle outside for the pool. Okay. So we can permanently wire in the pool. Okay. By the way, yeah, getting some pool work done off of this sub panel too, okay. And then I got receptacles. This one here is for the fridge. Okay. One over there is going to be for the corner of the receptacles. Okay. A lot of the stuff's going to run through the wall. Some of it I could run under the floor, so I'm trying to get that run now before they cover it up. Gotcha. They're putting insulation in this floor, right? Insulation in the floor, and they're insulating these pipes. Okay. And it'll be and insulated once, around that pipe. Yeah, and once the floor is built, then they can build the the walls against the block. There. Okay, yeah, that was something um, our county build. said they had to... Yeah, the, the the walls get built on top of the floor, so well, can't. that only makes sense. But who knew? And these lights here that you got off eBay, those are going. Yeah. Those are going to a shipping container. Right. Do you want to also tell the people that you don't feel sad because we're doing the kitchen first? No. No. Yeah, this was never big enough for my shop anyway. So. That's right. Might as well get my some shop, good use out of my it. Shop needs to be big enough to drive my truck. Yes. Drive the van. Mm-hmm. Tim Allen would be proud more power. Yeah, we're going to run the lights here, mm -hmm. and you know, I'll have to set boxes for all of them. Yeah, but they're nice lights. They're waiting for us. We'll get there. So next step, the inspector is coming tomorrow, and he's going to, at some point. They wouldn't tell me morning or afternoon. That's right, and they're going to flip the switch on Thursday. That's always our Brian Regan joke. So at some point, they're going to come. They're going to inspect it, and we'll see if there's anything else we need to do. And then the plumber was going to come back and do something else after that, wasn't he? Yeah, he has to do the pressure test. Okay. And he wanted to wait and do it while the inspectors were here. Oh, okay. Good. And then so they're all coordinated. They're going to insulate these pipes. Yeah. But there they are. Lots to do. Alrighty. Okay, so now I'm going to take you in the basement and show you what they did in the basement plumbing-wise. Alrighty, so I see pipes coming out. It was possible. Yay. Is this whole white thing new or was yeah, this... They used that cutout that was existing into the floor. Okay. And they adapted to it. And so nice. This whole space here is going to be like a little mechanical room. Once we get to the basement renovation phase, we're going to have doors here and we'll walk through and this will be exactly like Travis said. 
And that hot water, did they come off the hot water in the shower down here that was already there? Yeah. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that, I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah, there was all. some pipes here that they deleted that went to an old um, filter, I think. Okay. Well, all drains lead to the ocean. Uh -huh. uh, so there we go, up there. It runs along. They got a shut off here. Nice. For the cold and for the hot. Okay, yeah, he was telling me something about that, and I was thinking, I don't know what you're saying, but hopefully. There's one for the hot around the corner. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Good job, folks. Alrighty, so this is the drawing that we're going off of and that the county has approved. So let us have it. It just shows all your receptacles. So, freeze dryer, receptacles on the island. You just gotta follow the lines, kids. Uh, but anyway, we just measured, um, and this isn't our overall kitchen drawing. This is just focusing on the electrical, but I will say we just measured again the refrigerator and we do have, how was it 24 inches? Uh, 24 inches from the refrigerator and the door and the door opens in this way um, to put the trash can there. So that's just what we're gonna have to do because I think I need a freeze dryer now. Yeah, it fits, yeah. Yeah, we'll make it work. Alrighty, so for the big stove reveal, so you know I was, I was looking at that one gas stove once I decided to go to gas. See, we, we have room to, to move around here and make adjustments. I was looking at that blue one, liked it a lot. Uh, then I was like, okay, that one is 48 inches, uh, which is obviously a nice big stove, but we have 60 inches planned for that space. And I already had ordered and already have received a huge 60 inch custom hood. So I wonder if there's a big 60 inch gas stove. And so I found one. It's from uh, the company called Z-Line. That's the one I bought. And it's actually supposed to be here in seven days. So there was no waiting around for that one. I'll show you pictures of it. It is stainless steel, just like my other appliances. So I didn't get the pretty blue face on the front of it, but I am getting more burners, a bigger stove area. And uh, it still has the one smaller oven on one side, but by the dimensions, I'll still be able to use that for nine by 13 pans which I do a lot of those and then the main ovens a little bigger as well okay again so here's the beautiful cobalt blue stove that I really liked that was 48 inches uh, but not the one I'm going with now okay and here is the 60 inch nine burner stove it also comes with a griddle and all of that glorious stuff this is the one that I went with and now with all this wind I'm seeing the kids have, are getting their Christmas kites out. <laughs> Tis the season. So anyway, friends, this is the progress on the kitchen. I feel like, hey, things are happening. So again, tomorrow is the first set of inspections. And then after that, uh, some more with the plumbing and then a lot more for the electrical. And then we will be regrouping with our builder man and talking out exactly, I guess just going down our little list there and naming everything that needs done for phase two. I will update you on that and we'll see if we can uh, get this show on the road and get a little closer to the kitchen. Since I am in the garage and things have happened, we have had progress since the last garage to kitchen conversion update video. Okay, so I'm way back in the corner here where I'm thinking, I'm gonna, again, there's my outdoor shoes, where I'm thinking I'm gonna have my nice comfy uh, mama reader Bible in the morning chair. And so then here we have uh, framed out around the windows. All the windows are gonna have a really deep window sill, which is lovely. Yes, so we will look at the framing and we will look at the floor and you can't see the insulation. There will be pictures here to show you the different progress. I was working on other projects at the time that this was happening and I could not get out here to get video footage for you every day. And Travis kept saying, video footage, well, I'll take pictures for you. So he got pictures for me and that was helpful. Frame walls everywhere. So this is water for the sink garbage disposal over here water for the sink garbage disposal i've been asked about the dishwasher drains and so again i'm like travis we don't have dishwasher drains he's like well because the way the dishwashers have been at our last two houses this house and the one before um, the dishwashers drain into the garbage disposal i know some folks don't like that some folks have problems 
we haven't had an issue with that. That's the way it's gonna be set up here. If we have an issue, well, that'll be an issue. <laughs> so anyway, both dishwashers will be on either side. Uh, over here, I see some wires. Mm -hmm. Right here is the pot filler. It's a hanging, but it will be it will be up and that will be lovely i see a wire there uh more framing out tools in the window moving on down we have a wire we have another wire some more framing out framing out around that door travis also mm -hmm. got the hardware on the doors over here is going to be a sub panel situation there is our current laundry room door with the hardware off and more things happening there. Here's this wall and those wires coiled up. And then up here is where they have attic access. Well, now this house has a, just a couple year old roof on it, but the building inspector was real impressed with our 1963 uh, original roofing and whatever you call all those things up there. So anyway, Here's a look at those windows framed out. And then over here, we got hardware on that door and I hear kids blowing horns outside. They're having a good time. Okay, so we are in the basement now. What, what are we looking at, Trev? The new conduit for the new sub panel. Okay. It comes out of the Out of there, panel. goes there. And then on the other side of this, when we're gonna go to the other side of the house, we're going to see more of this gray tubing and that yeah. goes up to the attic. Right. These new things you drilled, is that in reference to the air conditioner or in reference That's to the kitchen? That's the air conditioner. Okay. They had run it oddly, so I rerun it. We have improved it. Okay. Anything else? Kitchen, electrical down here in the basement? I tried to, I tried to think of the easiest way to get power all the way out there and so running a sub panel. Makes sense. Makes more sense. And then the quickest way to run it, I thought, was in the attic. Uh-huh. I'll have to go drill through all these. What what are these called? They're floor joists, but they're other because they're for the upstairs floor? Right. Is that how this works? Okay, so there's more of the basement happening. Alrighty, so let's go look outside. Okay, and then walking up this hill. So there's our air conditioner. And eventually when we do the basement project, I guess they will level and put another one. Here beside it, seems like the spot for it. We go over here, this is where uh, this brown tube is electrical for the air conditioner that goes all the way up into the attic. And then that gray tube is new, where, do I say our sub-panel wires? Right. Does that make sense? So yeah, they're gonna pull the wires through here. That's going all the way up to the attic all the way okay we're gonna go see the other end of it now here we go okay we are we are on the move okay in here okay back in the kitchen yes yeah, so we made it all the way through the attic we're okay cut it off here oh and this is where it's coming out yeah we're, we're gonna cut it off back here and run it this way nice all the way over here to the new panel. Okay. New panel. Walkie walkie. See how tall Travis is? I'm going to turn the conduit down and set the panel here. I've got to move this stud. We're going to set the panel here. Okay. Love it. The conduit's going to come down through the wall into the top of the. And then how how uh, tall are, is our ceiling going to be? I've gotten uh, eight that. Foot. It's going to be eight foot. Eight foot. Okay. Saw it here first. <laughs> Yay! So Travis can still touch the ceiling. That's per our normal. We got our new panel here on the breakers. Uh huh. Oh, okay, yeah, here's panel and breakers. Sub panel. Mm hmm. And things, tools, rotary hammer. Start hmm. Slinging boxes. Slinging boxes, friends. Slinging wire. Sling and wire. So you're getting all that underway. And so these wires you have here are for outlets and things in the island, right? Yeah. Okay. And then... You probably set a box and run like a VX cable. It's like a metal sheath flexible conduit. Okay. Y'all got for that? For the island uh, receptacles. Okay. 
to love probably it. be exposed inside the cabinet. So. Right, right. We don't have to. We won't see it when we come in. And then over here, someone asked me about outlets. I was saying in the desk area, there's going to be outlets. Yeah. Will that outlet stay? That one will probably not. What? Well, it just depends. Okay. I may try to pull it out, but it's not. It's fed from uh, the old house circuitry, so. Gotcha. So it would probably just be cleaner to does, not have it. Yeah, if it does stay, it, that'd be fine. But. And so if I need to run a vacuum or some other, like, appliance, will yeah. I have... Yeah, there's going to be... There. Receptacles all the way around that. Okay. The room here. So, so there will be plenty of receptacles to plug yeah. in the steam mop. Sure. Sure, okay. This is like build your own adventure. Like every six feet every or less. Six, every so six feet or less. Yeah. Okay. But in the kitchen area, they'll be closer. Yeah. But on the floor area, yeah, okay, that's good. So this is our elect electrical adventure. Uh, a lot is going to be happening in this space over here. <laughs> Let me show you real quick in the pod, at least the box that the big stove is in too. House, trash can's not going to be there. Garage, hello, porch refrigerators. Okay more electrical stuff. We have not filled this thing. I was worrying with getting more things delivered from Lowe's with the temperature fluctuations. I know it's just, you know, not a perfect system, but we got our lighting. I had shown that in another video. Um, you can go back and watch, but it's all sitting in here. This crate here is the stove, and I think those are the doors that came with it. So it's here. We didn't have to move it in a pickup truck. We were victorious, yay. I'm coming out, I was on my way to bed, and then I was like, oh wait, they're coming tomorrow to do the insulation, and whenever I wait to do these updates, uh, yeah, it'll just get away from me. So, wanted to say, big announcement is all of Travis's electrical passed the electrical inspection. So, we're talking uh, boxes and I don't know all the electrical things, <laughs> outlets. I did share about this in some other videos. Outlets, wires, dishwasher, yes. All the outlets, all the walls, all the time. He's actually out at Lowe's now getting uh, the guts, so to speak, that go inside the custom range hood that we ordered. And uh, hopefully he'll be back home with that soon, but he was getting all that. We have the hood, but he needed the actual vent and such that goes inside. So that is a to, to be done soon project, but all of these have passed and here is how the box is looking. It looks like, uh, you know, inside a robot, doesn't it? Wires everywhere, wires run with love, right? And there's another, I think that's gonna be um, a light switch. Wires, wires, wires. And so what is happening tomorrow? Oh, also uh, up here. So there's not really room up here to use um, the up top of our house for like true attic storage, but we are gonna have access. There's lots of our HVAC equipment up there. Um, and this is where we'll have some pull down access. And so he did, there's a, going to be a light up there. Of course, there's gonna be a ceiling, but here, these are the lights that will go over our table area. And then here are some lights that will go over the island area and then uh, just here in the walkway in the kitchen we have a light up there and then over here we have a light over the sink and let's see on down here so these LED lights will not be here there's another light up yonder and uh, yeah lots lots of light things and electrical things have been done so tomorrow my understanding is they're coming and they're doing the insulation in the walls and the ceiling all the way around here and then after that we will have another inspection and then i believe from there next up is drywall so good night tonight next up i will show you the 
insulation and we will be moving forward to turning this into my big mega mama kitchen yay alrighty so we are back the insulation's in didn't take too long let me let me show you what this looks like all right here we are looking looking a little different already so insulation things happening they did not put it in the ceiling yet I thought they were doing that today and they didn't so I must have just misunderstood and uh, that that will be a coming I don't know my proper chain of events they did put this uh, like cardboard there so again not sure if they're coming back tomorrow to do that or or what we do here <laughs> but uh, I do know that this roof is getting insulation and drywall we're obviously not to the drywall yet. We have our inspection now tomorrow. Our county seems to run really quick um, now that we're in the process. So whenever we have some work done and then they need to come out to approve it, as long as we let them know, like today, Travis emailed them before noon and so they were scheduled to come out tomorrow. They will come out tomorrow and check off for the insulation and I think some foam, something, something he wanted Travis to do. And then I believe the next thing is the drywall and finishing up ceiling type things as well. So that is getting pretty serious. Looks kind of wild having another color besides bright white <laughs> to look at for now, but things are happening. Okay guys. I am, the drywall just showed up and I was literally standing in here to film an update video. The drywall is going to uh, be stacked up probably all against these walls. So how quickly can I do this? Recently the plumbing company came back out and secured the pot filler to the wall. This is a new water line for a countertop ice maker. And then the gas company was here this morning and they, um, this is just a hole from one side of the wall to the other because the drywall's coming. They're gonna need a special valve. They know how to do their jobs because the stove is so big. But for today, we just got the hole through the wall and I'll take you outside and show you what else they did. Used to be uh, down on the outside of our deck and now they moved it here this morning. We had the little concrete pad for them already. Today the goal, the goal for the hole was just to get uh, the hole through the brick. And this is where it used to sit. And so uh, gardens need help. This is kind of an odd downhill area. I want to do uh, you just, you want to hear all the thoughts, right? <laughs> different, something different on the exterior. House, plants that need filled. And uh, now they're gonna unload the drywall, yay. Let me try to get you caught up on some more things that's been happening here for the next few weeks. And then we're gonna talk about what starts tomorrow and then all the things that are gonna come screaming down the hill at us after that. And there's the other batch of drywall. Okay, I don't know if you hear that. Do you hear that sound? It's, it's the forced air sound. So many of you have wanted to know how we are going to heat and cool this room. So the HVAC company came out and we have, we have HVAC things happening up here all around and air blowing out. Uh, so that was a big deal and that has been inspected and passed inspection. And then the HVAC company, they gave us several options for heating and cooling this room. Uh, the only thing they think there could be an issue with is our thermostat. And again, we're just, we're gonna start with this option. This was honestly the, the cheapest option. Um, and then after, if this does not work in keeping everything um, heated and cooled properly, then we will do, I think it's called a mini split where basically it's like another smaller unit just for this kitchen, which is cool. We just didn't want to do that if this is gonna work. Like it's already cool out here now and we have an open ceiling happening. So we're just, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, but our air conditioning unit itself is large enough to do this space. So, so anyway, we shall see. And then the other thing that's been done is this is the duct work that needed to be done for 
the um the big obnoxious <laughs> big honkin hood that I got and then there's Travis's box for it there and this comes up and it goes out the side of the house and there's a cap up there um, where whatever we vent goes out and that has passed its inspection also and then I'm since I ended my other clips for you with the insulation you must have seen this so I know um, Travis also within that time so these bar lights will not be here they're just they've been here uh, for us to have some light in the meantime but Travis has finished up all of this lighting like these three one two three this will be the lights that are um, dealing with this island area and then these lights here at least this one and this one are going to be over our big table and then this light over here is more of you know walk in the door light we have another light up there because this is going to be part of my sitting area and then let's see what else so I know I showed you this real quick too. Um, the, the refrigerator is a commercial refrigerator. It does not have an ice maker or a water line or uh, a freezer. So it's gonna be, I am so excited just to have 47 cubic feet of refrigerator space in the kitchen where I'm working. Cause you know with the freezer, I just drag, drag stuff I need you know, out and use it or I'm shoving stuff in there. But to have <laughs> have a working refrigerator where, uh, you know, we can, it's just, I have no words. I'll have to show you how we utilize it, but I'm utilizing it in my hopes and dreams already and I'm very excited about it. And actually a friend of mine, <laughs> she sent me a picture of, cause she's got, I bought this refrigerator cause it's the same one she has. It's a good size. She has 10 kids. Anyway, she puts, can put a full size, full size roaster oven in there. Um, so just so excited. But in the meantime, we're going to have like a countertop ice maker. And we haven't had an ice maker in years. This is just like, we're getting our new ki kitchen, let's have an ice maker. Um, but then Travis also said, you know, down the road at some point in life, we may have a different refrigerator and that way the water line will be there. I don't know electrical stuff. Here's another look. It looks like a science project to me. I think more things have been done in here since the last time I showed it to you. Although I can't tell you what it is, but it, it yeah. Good, good job, Travis. Alrighty, so I just checked in with Travis and I think I have covered it all. But uh, but wait, there's more because I'm going to show you this drywall progress coming up. So you'll be able to see walls and a ceiling and we'll just see, I'm gonna keep on filming this until I get <laughs> close to having to publish it, how it's uh, laid out in my calendar plan. So one second and I'll show you more. All right, friends, so yesterday the drywall guys came and this is how far they got. We now have a ceiling and they're, they're coming back today and maybe even a third day. The ceiling, yes, and we have that wall mostly done and this wall done. Just tore you around. See, they got that sliver of wall done there. After uh, that, so today, of course, they'll need to get this whole wall done, this done, that corner. Uh, yesterday was a lot between, I mean, they just worked hard all day. The cutouts of the ceiling, all these outlet cutouts. And then uh, what else will be happening? Oh, Sorry, I haven't even had my first morning cup of coffee yet, but I'm trying to get this filled before they get here because they'll probably be here soon. But anyway, um, after they get the drywall done, I, I was asking Travis because I, I don't know how these things work, but I was like, what about all the, the screws and stuff in them? But anyway, they come and they, uh, they mud that, he said. So they're going to do the seams and fill in all of that. And it'll just look like smooth walls. Yay, J. Morrell, that's how drywall works. So... Get things done. It's coming together. We just have our light bars over there for now. Uh, but anyway, I will update you again. 
after they get done with their work from today. Yay. Okay, guys. Actually, the drywall guys are here, and I forgot to get my video clip of what it looked like when they finished day two. So I said, give me one minute. Let me just get this video clip because I'll be sad if I don't. <laughs> so they are waiting for me for one minute, but here we go. You can see everything that they did on day two. Hopefully my lighting plays along and I will get out of here for them to jump on in. There's their stuff there, but yeah, they, so they finished this wall, cut the attic access, finished over here. You can see the nice deep window sills. And so today they're gonna continue on. They had started on uh, the mudding where they go over all the seams and stuff. And so that is what they're gonna work on getting done today. Now I'm gonna let these guys get to work. So yay, end of day two, beginning of day three drywall. Okay, so after yesterday was done, uh, or I can say yesterday during the day, I mean, they worked late. They, it seemed like they worked until 7.30 or eight last evening. Um, there's now thick, I'm just gonna call it mud. I think that's what you refer it to. It's thick around everywhere where there were seams, on the walls where there seams, it's coated. Um, everywhere that there were screws put in, they have those filled. This is just some more supplies they have sitting. So here it is, way back in the corner. So when I'm sitting in my chair, this is what it'll look like, only, <laughs> only painted and have lighting and all that. Um, but here's how the ceilings are looking. So again, every single seam is filled and the holes are filled. And we have that light bar there, so I know that's messing with our eyes here. Oh, I got some stink bugs hanging out in here. <laughs> anyway, the uh, attic access. And this is, Travis will be giving us outlets in all of those places. And then, mm -hmm, things are looking official. The plumbing company um, put the water line access there too for us to have an ice maker on the counter. Here's how things are looking down here stove wise. So again, Travis said that they'll be coming back and sanding all of this down and then it'll be primer and trim and paint and floors and then it's cabinet time. And I just feel like when it's cabinet time, it's really, really serious. So that is super exciting. Of course, once the cabinets are in, then we'll have to have countertop folks out and get those ordered and serious thoughts on backsplash and all of that. But here it is. So it's been a, a good productive week here. Yay, getting closer to the kitchen. I have something amazing behind me. It's a floor. So I'm gonna give you an up close and personal look of this floor. Well, welcome back to my little laundry room hallway. Thankful for the laundry room hallway, of course, because it's an upgrade from the laundry room and the bathroom. But we are now in this garage. A couple things have happened, but more is happening tomorrow. And by the end of this video, more stuff more stuff and things. Keep watching for all the stuff and things. Let me show you what they got done last week. Okay, so showing you around this room, you might be able to tell it is all a very bright white now. I don't know, can you tell that? But anyway, last week they came, they covered all the windows and everything, most of the outlets. A few of the outlets got a little uh, white on the wires, but that's okay. The painting is done. They primered it. They painted everything Sherwin-Williams brightest white because that's what this mama wanted. Homemade weapon. Don't worry about that. Anyway, look, look, getting ready for this to be a real kitchen. Random kid creations, okay. So here's, again, where the stove will be. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Again, sink, dishwasher, dish, and if you're new here, there will be dishwashers on either side, but this is where all that action is happening. All the glorious outlets for all of my hopes and dreams. Oh, check out the windowsills. 
aren't these fantastic. So there is gonna be some trim also. That has not been done yet. But look, we have the nice deep window sills. Look, with authentic dead bugs and dust, just like how it's going to be when we actually start using it. And actually, I was thinking about these deep window sills, because again, like here, it's they're bigger than my hand, right? Like I have to, I have a little bit left there. Okay, and then we have this big window sill with even more dead bugs. I mean, are we not living the life here? What am I saying? So tomorrow, I talk to Roger at Lowe's. Now actually, Roger at Lowe's was, at, he was on vacation, but Lowe's was still good to me. Got a hold of someone else, they worked it out. Flooring will be delivered tomorrow, and our contractor man is starting with his crew to do this floor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's gonna be exciting. So stay tuned, tomorrow, floor things are happening. Then after that, somehow in life, trim things are happening. I need to report back to you and ask Travis when he starts with, I think like outlet covers and lighting. I had some other things go on this week. I, have you seen all that in this video? I ended up back in the hospital this week. I think by the time this garage update comes out, you will have known that. If you haven't seen that yet, look down in the videos because I'm sure we've been here, I'm sure we know. But when I'm filming this, to show you this kitchen in progress. I just got home from the hospital today, ha ha. So G, Travis, and he slept in the hospital chair again last night. So why doesn't he have the outlet covers on yet? Mm -hmm. Got a few things happening, but I know outlet covers and lights are coming up. So, and there's how that panel's just sitting there awaiting. Have something amazing behind me it's a floor so I'm gonna give you an up close and personal look of this floor so here is a look at the floor now we had a huge uh, baby shower for my bonus daughter here this weekend lots of people in and out lots of traffic on this floor and it hasn't been it hadn't even been swept hasn't been mopped I tell you, we are just going to wrap our whole lives in this floor. It's very similar to the floor we have in our third bathroom down in our basement. I believe it's called Harvest Hickory. Anyway, this is... feel like today they just did so much in helping the configuration of all this. So a few more little updates that I'm going to show you before we bring this to a close. Let me turn around and show you what has happened, where we're at, and what we're waiting for now. Alrighty, and we only have one LED light on the floor. I won't show it to you uh, or you'll be blinded, but here's the two Bosch dishwashers. I honestly did not even know they were coming today, but that's great versus not getting them. So they're still wrapped up, uh, but there they are. That is uh, an update, I guess you can say. I think I showed you all, this was here. So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Um, okay, again, I'm trying to save you with the light. So they're working on doing a toe kick there that'll have the white on it. They did work on the trim, giving it a built-in look around the top. They will caulk around the top too. They did work on 
they added that there, but there's some things Travis wants them to adjust with that. Uh, but there's the other little toe kick area and the blinding one. Oh, and I couldn't couldn't help myself today. I put some of the shelves up. The the big coffee cups coming with me on this uh, garage update tour. So actually, quite a bit got done this weekend. We're down to so many little details. Again, not as dramatic as when the big wall of cabinets went in, but all this other stuff. So let me show you what's gotten done. So first off, yes, the hood, the mega mama, mega massive hood is in and it is looking mighty fine. Many of you have been asking me if we were having any kind of electrical in this island and Travis did a dedicated, this is like the I don't know, the Italian music and the uh, the TikToks going on. So here, here you go, there's my hand movement. Anyway, and that was from like a year ago. Funny, Jay Morrell, funny. Anyway, Travis planned this island with electrical in it. You'll see he's got that box there. This is gonna be my garbage disposal switch. The reason that we did that is in this house for the last two and a half years, the garbage disposal switch is under the cabinet. And so I'm used to it being there. Um, another question, will the sinks have garbage disposals? They will. This sink, which will be like our main family sink, Travis had talked about putting it over here, but you know, we got kids and we're gonna collect grandkids and I just don't think it's good to have a switch here that could be easily flipped. He's been working with running. Oh, he told me what this was. Mm, it's RC. What, no, MC, it's MC cable, metal. Okay, it's okay, electrician's wife. There it is, and the reason he's running this cable all the way through is that, yeah, opening drawers, and like this drawer in particular, this is just a faux drawer face there anyway, and so, and that's just some extra wire. But you know, when I'm shoving big pots and stuff in there, if I would happen, to, you know push anything up this far all the wires are protected and he's like yes we must protect those wires from JML so you can see all his nice drilling and it just goes all the way through and so the outlets are many on this island I've had to make some big outlet decisions and I hope I've made the right ones but it is what it is right so again we're gonna have an overhang here for seating We've got an outlet there, and then you come down here, there's also gonna be an overhang all the way down. We have another outlet here, and then an outlet here, and then come around the side. Now this other side is where I'm going to live my life, right? So I'm planning my life, like we should put painter's tape right there. My life is happening here. This is as close as we could get outlets on this side just because we have so many deep drawers here. Um, one thing I toyed with and I was like, well, I don't know, could we have an outlet in the middle? But even then I would have to have a drawer open. I got four here and I figure a lot of things will reach from there and there's gonna be no overhang here, just the edge of the countertop. So it should go well. Also, I could even do something like have a multi-plug plug in here, have that set on top of the island and then plug into stuff from there. Lots of options. All of these, like again, he did a dedicated sub panel just for my Mega Mama kitchen. And all of these outlets are planned, like the electrical plan with all of them, is so I can be running multiple things on multiple outlets at the same time. And everything has dedicated circuits and such. So again, big project. Thank you, licensed electrician husband, to make all my outlet hopes and dreams come true. And Travis had asked me, you know, we talked about having outlets in the top of this. I just couldn't go there in my brain. I've heard that there's little bars that pop up and other electrical designs that have that. I have never had an island. I had in my forest house kitchen that little bump out that we used like an island. This is gonna be amazing and I'm happy with this. All right, friends, another day and more things have happened. I bet you can see it right now. Looky there, we got that cabinet set and that cabinet set in and then our corner cabinet and this cabinet. So those are 
big, huge things that are new. So that is coming together. Uh, yesterday, they were working on doing the trim around the top, so they got done there. They got done over there. Now, the trim has been a big quandary. Some questions I have received have been, Jay Morrell, why didn't you put your cabinets all the way to the roof so there wouldn't be a space? Or why didn't you put your cabinets lower so you would have more room at the top? And so, room at the top was never my goal. But just to show you, so why we didn't move them any taller is all five foot four of me, okay? Yes, I can reach. I can't go any further, okay? I live the step ladder life and I can't go any farther than the bottom shelf in any of these cabinets. And so the shelves aren't in this new corner one yet. I usually have at least two step ladders in any kitchen. So that's why we didn't go any higher with them. The reason we didn't go any lower is we, of course, we chose the height of these, but we based it off of, we took into consideration the height of the countertop and also where the cabinets were going to be. And we picked my biggest countertop appliance and based it on that. So the biggest appliance that I had when I got measuring is my Vitamix. And so my Vitamix will be able to slide real nice under these cabinets without any issues. That's how we picked that. But anyway, the other week I was like, oh, there is some space up there. I wonder how much space that is. I had been thinking the whole time, somehow, I don't know, however this works, they would just build it out somehow. But I went ahead and stuck a jar up there. I was like, can I fit my quart jars up there? That would be neat. But no, the quart jars don't fit. The pint jars do. But it's also, uh, after discussing this with many viewers over on my Facebook page, it's gonna be a dust magnet. So yesterday, the builder, we were measuring if I was going to get real big pieces of crown molding, you know, what size? And I think it was like five and seven eighths that I would need. Uh, we did find a bundle of it, but it would not be here for like three or four weeks. And so all that to say, for now, we are having the cabinets trimmed out with these pieces. We may end up getting bigger pieces of molding and closing it up with that. I've looked at a lot of pictures online of people's cabinets and a whole lot of them have that gap. And then a whole lot of them are built in with other molding. So I think it's all okay. That's a new discussion and something new we've been working through. I also was talking with Travis last night about, um, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll have lights up there. And he said he could definitely do that. He's already planning on under the cabinet lighting for us. And along with that, the um, electrical projects continue. Travis has been sitting over there at the panel a lot. He's doing breaker things, <laughs> other electrical things. I don't think this is new. But anyway, there's tools and projects and things going on. Oh, these boards here are the material for the window sills that they're gonna build out for us. And then those are gonna be stained to go with this floor. So I think that'll look very nice. Oh, and then I think another thing is new, they got veneer on the um, front of the desk area. And then over here, they put it on the side just to give these uh, cabinets a more built-in look. And then, yes, there's all kinds of like little scratches and things that are coming because of all the building and uh, work that is going on in here. So definitely when we're done with this construction phase, everything will be getting touched up. Like I know, like they're around the hood and stuff definitely needs it. So I think today they'll be back and they'll get the trim done over there. And then the rest of it is probably, you know, stuff that we don't see. And so we meet again. Yes, other new things happening here. So it's probably been about two weeks since I filmed the last update. Last week, the big thing I'm sure you see, I was in California last week and while I was gone, they came and did the countertops. I was like, I'm holding them up. Ah, oh, <laughs> we can have the sound of heaven opening. So the countertops are here and some other things have been done as well, but let's just talk about this elephant in the room because it's almost the size of an elephant. So these are the countertops that we went with. 
They are quartz. Uh, it is called Lusso. Now, you've probably heard me talk about, and we've got talking hand this morning, <laughs> Diamond Sparkle was the countertop that I really, really liked, and they didn't have it available anymore. And so, looking through the countertops that were available, of course, I made this choice with, you know, a, a like a 12 by 12 <laughs> square sample size. This is the one that I went with, and I thought, well, you know, it's not just plain white. There is some pattern to it, but it's not super busy, and I liked it. So there you go. That's how we came to this decision. So it's got some white and some cream and kind of some light taupe, and then it has like just a little bit of gold in here, and uh, I thought it would just go well with everything that we have going on. They did an absolutely phenomenal job. I mean, you'll hear, you know, different stories. Like one friend of mine, I think her countertop was off by like, I don't know, a couple, like a quarter of an inch or so. Anyway, I just know, you know, things can happen with anything. And we had good things happen here. Um, the only thing that I saw whenever they contacted me and, you know, really wanted to know if there was anything, anything, there's just some little, there's like three little scuff marks. There's one here and here and down here and they're going to send someone to come and work on those so that is good uh, so here's the big island you can see i'm practicing with the chairs here big island i mean again this is where we're living life here friends this is it <laughs> more countertop more countertop let's just breeze on by the countertop anyway i just have a big vision in here with the big table we're going to have room for like homeschool life stuff and then I'll have this big island to work on that's the whole point of this vision super happy so it's looking like it's the last week of July when I'm filming this it'll be the first week of August that we have some major things done yay so thankful to be able to get in there one day and uh, oh I'll show you uh, just some things that have happened with the kitchen real quick Oh, this lighting is giving us a fit, but we're doing it. They got the handles on, so that was a big deal. Handles, I'll have a whole kitchen video coming out here. Coming together, still not in here, having trouble as of today. Getting someone lined up to come do the tile. So, was, what is it? I think it's just the tile. I mean, the, you know, the plumbing, getting the dishwashers and stuff in. I mean, we could do that, but we've got our local plumbers that are coming to do that getting the stove hooked up. Those things are like as good as done. I'm waiting to move in here though, to get the tile done, just because I know it'll be a mess. Here we are. Okay, cabinets are before us. So much to do. Here's our stack of lights and projects. Lots of stuff happening. Okay friends, exciting things have been happening in here. And today, I'm finally gonna show you the rest of it. Yay, kitchen. Okay guys, so the plumbers have just left to pick up some more supplies at our little hardware store, but look at this. We have official, real deal, Mega Mama faucets going down. The plumbers have gone. Do you see the beautiful things behind me? Let's take a look at what they got done today. Official, official faucet. Look at this. Water sprayer and it clicks off, goes right back on with the magnet. Exciting. We have, we don't have power yet, but <laughs> we have garbage disposal. We have amazing water sprayer <laughs> magnet. I just love these faucets. They, they definitely make my heart happy. Tile has been in progress today. Looks like a lot of math and planning. So I'll show you what he's got done. He's out at lunch. So I'll show you this real quick before he gets back. I see lines drawn there. Okay. And I see lines here and a line going across. Here, there's another line going across. He's doing things here with the lantern tile. He has the trim because there's gonna be tile here and along the back there. Bucket of water, authentic tile work going down, trim that goes along that way, and then coming down here, we have more trim, we're gonna stop it there so it all lines up. So this is what he's been working on so far this morning. 
It is a process, but we are progressing forward again, yay. Well, friends, happy 11.15 at night <laughs> when I am finally getting the few minutes to show you the wonderful title progress that happened today, so let's take a look. Alrighty. I don't know if you can see it from here. We'll walk up close and personal to it. Of course, our lighting is our lighting that's up on the cabinets with the extension cord, but there you go. So today he got this whole section. It looks so nice. And then this whole area behind the sink, that is gonna be so nice <laughs> to have tile there. And uh, of course the trim, and this will go all the way down. So, yay. Alrighty, tile man is at it today. He's out to lunch, so I'm slipping out here. It's fair day, we're, we're going to the fair. Yeah, yes and amen, yes we are. So anyway, I'm slipping out here to show you what he's gotten done so far this morning. Okay, okay, we see where he's going with this. So this is how the tile's looking here. And over here, you know, nothing's changed over there since last night, but he knows what he's doing. Look at this, I'm hearing him use a saw a lot. He's making cuts, he's doing math. Things are happening. All right, we are back from the fair. It's, uh, let's see, 11.33 p.m. Don't worry, this mama, I am on my way to bed, but I wanted to show you how much further the tile guy got today. Tomorrow, it should be tile behind the stove day. We did already have one reschedule, and I think it was for the best because since our tile guys had some schedule hiccups, you know, we were flexible, things happen. And tomorrow was supposed to be the day that the gas company comes to hook up the propane for the stove. And then the following day was gonna be the inspection for that. They called this morning and rescheduled for next week. But it works out perfect because now our tile guy is gonna be working on the stove tile tomorrow for most of the day and he still has to do the grout and all of that. So he's gonna need these days when they would be working on the propane hookup situation. So again, I'm just counting that as all for the best, but let's look how far he got at this tile today. And this evening he had asked Travis to turn the electrical back on just because he needed some more lights. So we got the, the light over the sink, how it'll be, but look at this. We have trim, we have tile, tile here on down. There's my little jars <laughs> taking space in that window saying good things are to come. So yeah, he's got this little area to finish and then the whole tile behind the stove. Oh boy, it's another day. And the tile is, I don't know, do you call this 75% done? Let me show you how far he got yesterday. Big reveal, tile. No, it's not grouted yet. He said, uh, it's Thursday when I'm filming this. He said it needs to dry and he will be back on Saturday and he will do all the grouting from there. But look at this, I don't. I feel like there should be a drum roll or something. This is how the tile looks behind the stove. All right, there's just, I mean, what? There was no other way to start this clip. My coffee cup is balancing on the Amazon mountain. <laughs> but yeah, I went away this weekend and Travis got a bunch done. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, I had to go replace my battery, but, and I don't know, like, I know the lighting's gonna, this camera's gonna adjust with the lighting. So the floors are doing a phenomenal job being messy floors <laughs> because there's already been a lot of uh, motion and movement in this kitchen. Yeah, they're just, uh, I mean, obviously they need steam mopped, but they they understood the assignment as well. So the light over the little sitting area quarter is done. Basically all the lights, all the lights are done. So those are the three Long Island lights. These lights are over where our big table is going to be. And so when Travis put the uh, the chandelier piece together, he's like, uh, I don't know, what do we think about this? And I said, no, 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 I think it's gonna be okay because it's going to be over the middle of the table. So that was the whole thought process when I ordered it. I know it does have, if you can see, it does have some brass 
on it. Uh, but anyway, it looks fantastic. And that, again, kind of mixes some things up in here. And I think, you know, goes well, blends well with the countertops and everything. Uh, let's see. Then... I guess those lights over there were done. So these, while I was gone all this weekend, he was sending me pictures as he was working away at these. And these took him uh, pretty much all of Saturday and all of Sunday along with having Benjamin with him and <laughs> watching kiddos and stuff. This is the big update for the weekend. Mm -hmm. since the last footage. It has probably been four days or so. We will not talk about the elephants in the room yet. Let's go to what we've been working on for about two weeks now, the tile. The tile is done. It has a light gray grout. I think you can see it pretty well there. I still, you know, went back and forth on it. Even the tile gentleman, he was excellent. He was just like, I just worry that it's gonna be too busy. And I'm like, well, I'm kind of too busy in my heart. So I think the light gray, is good and I'm happy with it and my heart is happy and yay the outlet is there yay tile outlets things beauty beauty thank you tile and you all remember like it was a real scramble on who I was going to get to do this tile because man people weren't showing up people weren't calling me back uh everyone was booked until December and even though our tile guy he had some sickness at his house and stuff and life like all of us but he really pulled through and uh, got the job done for us so super happy about that we're gonna run let's run way over here now okay so lo looking up let's hold our heads up that's what it looks like with the under cabinet lighting oh and I don't have do I have my stove I think I do have stove lights turned on Yes, okay, so the stove lights are turned on. So now let's talk about, as I lovingly called, <laughs> the elephant in the room, right? Well, this table is a little over 16 feet long and I will try to come in the door just to show you. So I asked him as a big burly football player how he felt about having room to come in and he just said he feels like he has plenty of room. And actually this table, I think it's 40 inches wide. It felt, you know, a lot wider in the last space. And now there's just like the room and the ability to move around in here is phenomenal. What do you see that's new in this picture? I was just having Zion hold the camera, helping me take some thumbnail pictures and look, like the bowl, it looks small now. That is the 30 quart Mega Mama mixing bowl. <laughs> I brought it on out here for us to try to grab some thumbnail pictures, but yay, it's gonna, it's gonna get lots of good use out here.